What is up you guys, Crystal Covet, welcome to yet another one of my videos. Today we are checking out my latest mock, which is called The Battle of Scarif. It's a brand new, this is a totally different mock in the sense of it's a new place I'm doing it in. <clears throat> and obviously we're going to talk about scenery, story, and then the figures, like usual. So, first of all, we've got the, sorry, we've got like the shore. Around here, which is in the movie, um, you or in the, the planet, you have like a lot of its. I can't speak. Sea slash uh, islands, and this is a shore basically, and then it goes onto the sand, which then goes onto the imperial base slash the mud and greenery, which you can see goes along here, which is basically you say. There is water on this side and this side of the island, and then maybe then there'll be like the island will go out a bit here, and then inside this is more the inner layer which has all the greenery as you've seen in the Scarif place before. I mean, if you haven't seen Scarif before, then you might not understand. But <clears throat> yeah, so as you can see, it's darker, lighter, like I usually do. And then you got some of the water, uh, see-through, transparent, yes, transparent uh, pieces, which are basically like when it hits the sand, it's kind of all white because of the uh, clashing and stuff. So yeah, this is all sand here, and you've got these odd like studs or like pieces of sand just lying around the base bit because well in the desert when you're walking around you walk on the uh sand and then you walk onto the main part the i can't speak now the imperial base you're going to get some sand over it and you can see i've built here like different layers of sand so it goes up down up down did it because it's something more unique because if this was all flat it wouldn't look that good I mean, you guys would also agree that, most probably. And you can see right at the bottom, I use these sand. Oh, it works. Okay. Uh, the sand uh, board, which is because it looks better with the uh, water and stuff. So that's why I did that. And then let's go on to the actual Imperial base. The doors do not open now, I'm sorry. But th this is representing a door. And this is loosely put on because you can take it off out. That totally by accident and as you can see it, I mean it's empty in here but this is the part like right in the entrance you're not going to have like a bunch of things lying around so I'll explain about what's happening in here and as you can tell on the back like I always do it I always make it so even if it doesn't look pretty it it's, it's not a bunch of ugly pieces just lying there I always make it look, you know, presentable at the back, as well as the front. I think I should start making it so it looks actually really cool at the back and front. And that will make it a bit better, cooler. Maybe? I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comment down below. Think in the comments down below. Anyway, so, yeah, this isn't prep, like, heavily made. I didn't put too much effort in making the roof. Because, I mean, well, I don't know. I didn't really feel like it. And... Let's just say this is 50-50 truth slash based on a true that what actually happened and not. And I'll explain in a second. Um, and yeah, okay. So now let's get on to the figures. Yep. So as you can tell, you've got the rep because this is obviously uh, from Rogue One, I think it's called that film. And basically, you've got the rebels and you've got the Imperial. And, yep, this is actually, like, power, whatever his name now, like, in the film. Before, I just used him as a random figure, but because this is 50-50 based on a true story, 50-50 not. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't need to say 50-50 not, I just say 50% not. Basically, what's happening is that when you, uh, we what? Alright, no, not when we, um, I think I'm just gonna, like, Give me a second. 
All right, I'm uh, trying to like just remember. Uh, I'm trying to make myself speak properly. I can't speak. All right. Obviously, I just got my hand really shaky. Look, as you can tell, I got really shaky hands. Anyway, so basically, the rebels, like in the film, they come off, come from shore, and they attack the imperial. Now, what's not exactly true is the fact that you've got um, this guy and that guy, I've got their names, coming up here. They could have, but I don't specifically know if they did, so it's kind of based on the true, I wouldn't say true story, true film story, kind of 50% not. So yeah, anyway, so you've got a bunch of um, rebels charging in, a couple of them dying or being shot, as you can tell. I had to add some blood there. And then you've got uh, some stormtroopers with the death troopers, who look insanely awesome. I love death troopers. And you can see that the stormtroopers are dying. And you've got uh, this guy, one of the famous guys in the film, who's heavily massacring this guy. And you've got up here, you've got a couple of people who've been like going around the sides. And you can see he's like using a sticky... Um, device to get him up here. Yeah. You can see I I forgot his name. It's like Ch Ch something. Like yeah, he he's basically pushing the guy off. And yeah, these obviously these are jetpack troopers, and one of them has a machine gun, mini gun. Oh yeah, mini gun guy. So yeah, this is pretty much yeah. That's why they're up here as well, because I mean he could just mow down everyone in here now obviously death troopers i gave all these guys have um custom weapons i gave these guys a dc is it dc 15 or dcl 15 and gave these guys i didn't give anyone e11 i gave them multiple weapons a lot of them i'm not sure how to say yeah so basically obviously this is the attack the attack on scarif and battle stat scarif and you've got uh, the shock troop who's like in charge of these soldiers who's just like got everyone ready because if and most probably when actually the rebels come in these guys will be ready to like just mow them down so yeah that's it actually looks really awesome sorry just need to put them there. it's actually a cool thing it yeah so yeah that's basically what's happened and yeah that is my Oh mock, this took me two to three days. Took me longer than before. Just because I was thinking of what to do and stuff. And yeah, I just feel like, wait, I've got bricks. So I've got enough bricks to make Scarif. So why not? I mean, I don't have any shore troopers. That's kind of what stopped me before, but doesn't matter. You don't need shore troopers to make a Scarif mock. Anyway, so I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry, it's so late. Is it Tuesday now? I lost track of time and everything went crazy and 50 subscribers special is coming soon it's gonna be like a stop motion thing I'm gonna give a couple shout outs and yeah so that's much later than it's supposed to come out because I got like 55 subscribers now I was supposed to do it when I had like 50 but oh well, it doesn't matter um so I hope you guys did enjoy this this was pretty this was fun to make um, it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I haven't run out of ideas, don't worry. Um, I've got multiple stop motions that I've made. I just need to edit them. And if you are a stop, if you are like a stop motion creator thing, even, or like brick film or something, you know that editing takes ages. Like, it is so depressing. And yeah, so that's... Some stop motions will be coming out soon. I've got like three, including the 50 subscribers special. So I just need to add some stuff and then post those. Obviously, in I'll give some gaps in between because, you know, I'm not going to be like one of those inconsistent guys who like doesn't post. I mean, yeah, I've been posting, but like doesn't post a stop motion for five months and then suddenly post five of them at the same time in one day, if you see what I mean. So I'll space them out. And yeah, um... So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!